Hello and welcome to the On The Mic With Mike show, a show dedicated to helping today's small business owners become tomorrow's big business owners through direct business exposure. After all, what difference does it make if you have a great company, products, or services if no one knows that you exist? The bottom line and formula for our show is very simple. More ears equals more business. My name is Michael McCollum, also known as the Small Biz Doctor, and I have been in the small business development industry for over 20 years as a business coach, Chamber of Commerce consultant, a host of multiple radio shows, and an author of a monthly article in Array Magazine. Before we get started, did you know that there are over 23 million small businesses in the United States, with more than 400,000 added each year? However, the problem is that there are over 400,000 businesses that close every year as well. Top two reasons, lack of business management and capital. Listen to my show every Tuesday from 6 to 7 p.m. And I promise you that you will not only learn a lot about business, but hear from some great business owners as well. This is John Jansen from The Cage. You can hear me weekdays from 5 to 6 here on Sports Radio 100.1 WFAY. Right now, you are listening to On the Mic with Mike, the small biz doctor on ESPN Radio. Did you know that over 60% of small businesses are subject to legal actions taken against owners and their companies? If you would like to protect your business by having direct access to one of the best law firms in North Carolina for only $39 per month or entire family protection for only $19.95 per month, visit www.taplegalapp.com. That's www.taplegalapp.com to protect yourself and your business today. Hi, this is Christine Michaels, President and CEO of the Greater Fayetteville Chamber, and you are listening to On the Mic with Mike, the small business doctor on ESPN Radio. Okay, today, welcome to the show. Uh, We have some great information for you on the mic with Mike, uh, with Mike McCollum. Today, we have Ms. Thomasima Pinnell, and she is the spokesperson for a brand new board game company that's out, that just came out. Uh, They're releasing some different games and um, some services. Uh, Before we start anything, Thomasima, what is the actual name of this company and exactly what business category does it fit under? All right. Thank you, Mr. Mike McCollum. And the name of this new game is called Pizod One on One. And Pizod Company is a toy and publishing game, and it will fall in the category of toy in the gaming industry. In the gaming industry. Okay. Now, who is the owner uh, and the creator of the Pizod game? The owner and creator to Pizod Puzzles and Games Plus is Mr. Bobby McCormick. Hmm. Okay. Is he a local guy? Mr. Bobby McCormick is from the Fayetteville, North Carolina area. Wow. Okay. Now I know the Pizza are people saying, well, how do I spell that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give me the actual spelling of how Pizza is spelled. Pizza is P like in Papa P dash Z O D Pizza. Now, I know, is there a history? Because I know I, I, one time I asked Mr. McCormick about where he got the name from, and he kind of kept that silent. He was like, ah, I'll tell you about that later on. And so it's a little history about that. I was like, come on, because Pizod is not a normal name. I mean, it's not something you just come across. So I was trying to get information, but he would not give it to me. He said, I'll give it to you at a different time. You know how Bobby talks. So I'll give it to you at a different time, but not right now. He says it goes, <laughs> it's a lot of history that goes along with that. Now, how long has the Pizod game been out in the industry? Okay, Pizod uh, has been in its creation and it's been out since the 1980s and he's just releasing his information this year. Wow, it's taking him a long time to get that information out there, huh? Well, it's fun. His games is exciting. So <laughs> he wanted to make sure that once it hit the tables of those families and individuals that there's nothing but fun, critical thinking, 
all it, wrapped in one. And it makes your brain, it makes your brain run, huh? It'll, it'll make your brain <laughs> <laughs> unravel your brain. Okay. <laughs> now, where I mean, I, I, where does most of his um, clients come from uh, as far as the, the the book writing? I mean, I'm sorry, as the the game is concerned, where does a lot of his clientele come from? A lot of the clientele is coming out of the Fayetteville, North Carolina area. And there is future expansion to major distributors. Mm, okay. So he's getting that out there. So if you looked at it, other than the business owner, is he required to have any kind of special licenses or anything to when you go into the gaming industry to, to, to do games? Is there any kind of a special license or requirements that you have to have? At this time, there are no special requirements for licensing. However, once Mr. McCormick is uh, distributed, you know, within the country and uh, the expansion takes place, we will have more challenges and more legal things that we'll have to at that time wrap up. Uh-huh. But right now it's not required. OK, so the game is up. It's called Pizod. And it's, is it one on one, you said? OK, this one is called Pizod one on one edition. OK. And we did that because there was a game prior to uh, Pizod 101 edition that we actually just flip flop the games. But there is another game that's actually in holding. Mm. Yes, we have over 2,500 games and we're just waiting for that one legal piece to be cleared up. And once it's cleared, uh, the other piece of the Pizod uh, industry will be released. Now, a person said, okay, well, there's all kind of different, you know, kind of board games out there. There's some for, you know, mathematical equations. There's some for, you know, name that star and all these kind of things, you know. What kind of, what kind of game is Pizod? Okay, Pizod Puzzle. Wow. It's fun. It's exciting. It's critical thinking. Okay, when you're working with Pizod Puzzle, you will invert, you will reverse it's, it's created to trick the player. Uh, words have to be unscrambled. Mm. And then there's, for an example, you may have a W, but the word may actually be an M. Oh, okay. So it's not one of those, just a, a, a game, just the name or, or provide an answer to a question. Absolutely not. It's to challenge your mind. It's critical thinking. It's educational. And um, it's definitely... Uh, It'll make you scramp, scratch your head. <laughs> make you scratch your head, <laughs> scratch your head on this one. Trust me, I went over to um, when y'all had the event over at the uh, what is that Hobby Town? It's called Hobby Town. Yeah, I went to the event. They had a uh, event over there, um, and, and I got invited over there to do it. So I took myself and my you know, my, my daughter went over there, and uh, we actually sat down and tried and, and tried to do some of these games. And, and I tell you, when you say scratch your head, I was sitting there like, okay, okay, I'm I'm, I'm a fairly intelligent person i'm not going to say i'm the you know the guru of, uh, of intelligence but i'm i'm fairly intelligent and i'm sitting there saying okay this is challenging i gotta really think to do some of this stuff here but when you get to the end of it and you actually come up with the answer it makes you want to scream and, and, and jump up and give yourself a high five at that time because you stayed through it and went through all of it now give our listeners a little background about mr mccormick um personally and professionally and what made him start this type of business all right thank you mr mccormick Oh, wow. He's a very dynamic, intelligent man. Uh, Mr. McCormick is 70 years old. Mm. He has two children and his one son, Vincent McCormick. Then he has another son, Scotty McCormick, and a granddaughter that he just adores and he loves so much. And her name is Sky McCormick. Oh, okay. Yes, personally. And then on the another personal note, Mr. McCormick has worked a career job for over 35 years Man, that's, in the that's Fayetteville rare. area. That's He's rare. been blessed. Yes. What made but what 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 made him jump out into the game? I mean, what kind of business did he do before? I mean, what what was his profession before he started the gaming? Okay, well, Mr. McCormick worked in a government uh, environment, and he was nearly working eighty hours per week. Wow, eighty hours per week, and he thought to himself, the closer he came to retirement, he said to himself, "You know what? If I'm going to work eighty hours a week, I'm gonna work for myself <laughs> <laughs> and do something that I like." Do something that was fun, energetic, something that would continue to help challenge his mind and his creative uh, designs and his creative thinking skills. And so he went on and to launch his business and his puzzles and his games and much more, uh, just his creative uh, 
this creative uh, juices just went through and started putting all this uh, stuff together. Absolutely. Huh. Absolutely. So he's a dynamic uh, thinker. Okay. Now, one of the things a part of the show is we have what we call a 60 second elevator pitch. And uh, this is when I paint a picture for you. Okay. There's always different pictures uh, or pitches. So you go out and say you're walking in the park. Okay. You walk in the park and someone sees Mr. Bobby come up. Okay. And he's walking out and you get a bunch of people and they, and he's looking like, you know, uh, you're looking, looking, looking fairly intelligent. Maybe you have a little suit on or something like that when he's walking around or maybe he has the Pisa game in his hand. And someone says, Hey, what is it that you do? And what kind of game is that? This is a second 60 second elevator pitch. What is Bobby saying? Well, Peace Hot Puzzle is a creation. It will challenge your intelligence, your thought process. You will unscramble some words. You will cross connect letters. You can break through cold words. Uh, it's a puzzle that's at one on one level. It's for ages eight to ninety five years old. Absolutely, ninety five years old. Eight to ninety five years old. Eight to ninety five years wow. old. Wow. Yes. And uh, it's enti- it's intended for the entire family. So what he will actually let everyone know that is critical thinking. The strategy uh, is for the minds of all. So, so wait a minute. So this is not like the individual. Uh, it's not like Monopoly or something like that where you're just one person doing everything. Are you are you teamed up with someone or is it can you play couples? You can play team or is it just individuals? Monopoly is phenomenon, but this is just great it's outstanding and it surpassed monopoly mm-hmm. <laughs> spoken it's like an, a true spokesperson right. there that's right we have to give it its praise and high ups yeah. uh, uh pizod can be played um with a team of four mm, okay. six or eight and you can also play as teams in groups of two Oh, okay. Yes. And so he goes through, and 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 they and it just do they go against the the game itself, or are they going against each other? They're going against each other. It's a time type game. You're on a timer. You have to get to fifty points first, and then you. I mean, it's just you are challenging your your peers next to you, and it's like not only are you trying to use your mind and strategically thinking. How do I find this word? What am I doing? You know, looking at the decoded notes to the game and still trying to unscramble it. And then you're working against a time clock. Oh, so the clock is this, so the clock is ticking while you're trying to go through there and, and, and rack your brain trying to figure all this information out at the same time. Huh? Tick tock and don't stop. Oh, 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 the New York is coming out of you. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Peace on puzzle. Now, with the peace uh, going in, and I, and I know I, I asked him about the peace you're the spokesperson. Are you willing to get that information or how to get it from Bobby? Well, uh, uh, I, I, by the fact you're not answering, uh, so Bobby told me to wait. Uh. There you go. You have to wait. You have to wait. <laughs> All right. I don't want to get you in trouble. Where you come with the name? That is a mystery. From. That is a mystery. It and is we a will mystery. release what Pizod means very oh, soon. Okay. Now, in the product, so it has, when he does that, he sells the, or he creates the games itself. Is there other services that he offers as well? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Mr. McCormick offers uh, one-on-one uh, discussions as he go out and he's actually set up and going around and he does um, one-on-one at festivals. Mm. He does uh, one-on-one at Hobby Town. He's there on a regular basis. In fact, his puzzles are actually um, stationed there. You can go there to pick up Peace Hot Puzzle. Mm, okay. Yes, absolutely. I know at one time he was thinking about and he was talking to me a little bit about him trying to get this distributed, you know, from coast to coast. And he was working on something like that. So he told me he was going to give me some information when he actually gets it launched out to everything. Is he still in that situation and working on it or has he already done it? Oh, absolutely. One uh, is definite at this time and that is Hobby Town that's located on Ramsey Street in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Peace Hot Puzzle is on the shelf there. And you can pick up a copy at any time. Now, does he have a website as well? Oh, yes. Mr. McCormick has a website and contact information. And you can visit www.p-zod.com. Or you can actually go to B. McCormick, B-M-C-C-O-R-M-I-C-K at nc.rr.com. And you can also call him direct at 
800-242-7940. Wow. Okay. So that's some good information going on about the Pisa game and getting out there. Because I'm going to tell you, when I played it, I really did like it. I really did like it. it, it we had to think a little bit. And I think I, uh, at the time frame, I had one of your twins on my team. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I played with one of your team, your, your, your twin sons on my team. Uh, and we played against him. And I think it was a couple other people we played against at the table. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I won. I think you did. I think yeah, I won. You won. You uh-huh. won. But it was it was hard. But it was you got bragging there. rights. It was bragging rights. You know. <laughs> okay, I give you your props. You know when you're <laughs> when you're intelligent like me, you know things like that just come natural. Okay. okay <laughs> no, we got I'm you. not even going to say that. Went home. I had I had to take a couple of aspirin. I had to think too much that day. Well, absolutely. <laughs> you know, and alongside that, I, I did want to mention that uh, the designer for Mr. Bobby McCormick is just phenomenal, an awesome young lady. Uh, her name is. Jazz uh, West, and I would just now have helped, to give. Yes. She helped. She helped. She helped design the board itself. Absolutely, oh, and okay. I just want to give her information as well. Mm-hmm. It's a uh, Yaz Design, and that's Y A Z D E S I N G I N Z at Gmail dot com. Again, I'll repeat: is Y A Z D E S I G N Z at gmail.com. Okay. Again, this is On the Mic with Mike, um, with Mike McCollum on on ESPN Radio. And again, if you're just joining us, we have Thomasima Pinnell, and she's a spokesperson for the new board game, PZOD, uh, which is a new board game that's going out and hitting the market right now. But you said it's been around, and he he started up in, in, in the 80s or 90s or something like that? Yes. Mr. McCormick began his uh, creative game developing uh, from the 1980s. Mm, okay. Stay around with us. We're going to have some more information about uh, the Pisa game, the new Pisa game, where you can pick it up, uh, how challenging it is to you, and where the root, again, of the game came from. Again, on the mic with Mike, with Mike McCullum on ESPN Radio. Stay with us. Four behaviors you never want to see in a leader. We all have perceptions of effective leadership. Trying to define the individual perceptions of your staff is an exercise in futility. Though there are a myriad of definitions of success, there are very certain non-desirable leadership behaviors we could all agree on. There are four behaviors that are simply never indicative of effective leadership. First, complaining. Not cool. Criticizing another leader in the company of followers undermines the leadership efforts of others as well as yourself. One of the many challenges leaders face is earning the buy-in from his or her people. What they don't need is an associate sharing insults behind their back, because doing so erodes the trust they've worked so hard to build. Second, emotional volatility. Leaders are expected to comport themselves professionally, and that means having the self and social awareness of knowing when to put up, shut up, or blow up. It also requires understanding different personalities, Adapting one style to match the setting and people takes patience and acute observation, but is incredibly important. Third, play nice. Befriending employees is not priority number one on a leader's radar because decisions must be made that, well, won't please everybody. Remember this, people need a leader, not a friend. Fourth, micromanagement. Starting out as an entrepreneur, you will wear all the hats But as your company grows, so should you, out of all of those hats. It's not easy removing the tactical, operational, and strategic hats that an entrepreneur initially wears, and then scaling back to just one or two. If you want your company to grow, then you must focus on what you can affect best, and let your people do the same. As a leader, there are certain expectations that others have of you. Stay true to your personality type and leadership style, but always avoid these four career-killing behaviors. Hi, my name is Alan Porter. I'm the owner of Strategic Well Strategies. I write financial articles for Array Magazine, and you are listening to On the Mic with Mike on ESPN Radio. 
Mr. Bobby McCormick, CEO of Pizod Puzzle and Game Creations, will challenge your intellectual thought process while trying to unscramble, cross-connect letters, and break the code words from the level of Pizod Puzzle Edition 101. The puzzle is aimed at ages 8 to 90 plus. They are intended for the entire family and people of all ages. The games have been tested and have received favorable attributes. The critical thinking strategy welcomes the minds of all. Small business owners, do you want to know if you, your management and staff are on the same page and saying the same things to your customers or clients? After 20 years of small business coaching, I created a program called Employee Same Page Analysis that has either left business owners shocked, embarrassed, angry, or happy with the results. However, just so you know, only five companies scored over 50%. Give me a call today at 910-863-1797 to schedule your analysis because incorrect information can be destroying your business. Hi, this is Darswell Rogers, Managing Partner with Cape Fear Partners. And you're listening to On the Mic with Mike, the Small Biz Doctor on ESPN Radio. And we are back uh, on the mic with Mike, with Mike McCullum, the small biz doctor. And in the studio, again, we have Miss Thomasima she, uh, Pinnell, and she is the spokesperson for uh, the new PZOT game. And she's giving some information about the game, uh, the root of the game, and how challenging it is to the brain and to have to think about all these different things to get them to come to the conclusions of the questions that are asked on the games. And trust me, again, I played the game. I went over to high Hobby Town one day and sat down with them and the game was on the board and we started playing and I truly had to think. I mean, I really had to think, but it was fun. It was fun, uh, but it was challenging doing the same time uh, and going through it. Now, uh, it, it, one of the things that I asked on doing the doing doing the interview is out of everything uh, that a person knows about the car game industry or Bobby knows about the industry, what do you think he would say if a person said, hey, I wanted to create some games. I have these fantastic ideas. I have these things that I'm thinking about going into the game industry to, to create these things. What would be some of the things you think he would want to tell people if they're for people who wanted to walk in his footsteps into becoming a board game designer? Okay, well, the first thing for Mr. McCormick is that games have to be fun. You know, you have to have a passion for it. And he has a passion for creating and developing things that just critical thinking skills. Uh, He is all about education. Mm -hmm. He's all about enhancing one's thoughts. He's all about mastering what God has given us, which is a brain. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> okay. He wants you to think. He wants you to think. For some of us have brains anyway. Yes, sir. Okay. He wants you to think and he's all about education. Uh in just, he's all about educating, enhancing, developing and creating you know, just for the board game and for the, and, for and the enhancing board the brain game. itself. The brain now, itself. Yeah. Describe his um his perfect customer and why. His perfect customer can be anyone uh, male or female, boy or girl, and from the age of eight years old to 95 years old. Now, hold up. Now, you said this before. Now, you got to give us a little history <laughs> on this eight to 95 years old because you are talking a long <laughs> way from each other here. So you mean an eight-year-old can go up against a 95-year-old and actually do this as well? Absolutely. And it's a challenge because over at Hobby Town, in fact, the owner at Hobby Town, his children, those girls are really awesome. They dig right in. They sit down and they're scratching their head or pulling a ponytail and <laughs> <laughs> then I have my twins sitting there at the, the table scrambling. And then we have adults because Pizot Puzzle, again, is for the created mind. It's for Because we all think at different levels. Right. We have different levels of, of um, the, you know, the size of our brains. We just, as men and women, we think differently. So with Pizot Puzzle, it's a challenge. Well, you, you're right. Because when I was sitting there and I was playing with one of your, with, with one of your twins, and I, I'm looking at this, um, the, this card. I'm looking at it, and I'm like, okay, Michael, you can do this. All right. So I'm looking at the car and I'm going through the questions and I'm like, I can't get this certain thing. So I turned to your son and I was like, 
what is it about this? And he said, well, if you look over here to the top left over here and he made it so simple, I was like, how did I not see that? How did I not see that? And he pointed out to me so, I mean, so elegantly, you know, very quiet, very respectfully. It was basically saying, what's, what's wrong with you, man? You, you, you don't see this. <laughs> you know? So I had to look at him. I was like, okay, now if he had, if he wanted to talk some trash, that would have been a good time to talk trash to me because I did not notice that. But when I look back at it, I mean, it was right there. I mean, it's right there with the symbols and everything like that. He said, no, you have to put that on this side and move that over on this side. And I'm like, Oh, okay. So I wanted to say that in a situation where I, I didn't want to say "oh" too loud at that time frame because people looked at me and say, "Hey, you learning from the uh, a young guy over there? What is he? Ten years old? How old are you? How old are your twins?" The, the twins are ten years old, absolutely, and they start <laughs> and they telling me how to go through and play the game itself. Absolutely, because you just said something key. Each Pizod puzzle game has hints and clues, but then for future games, you know, there may be some letters missing mm. there may be a hint or you may not get a hint and Pizod one-on-one will give you just a few denote hints to try to move you along the way and kind of help you we don't want you to have a heart attack but so we want you to you make me think even more huh <laughs> yes absolutely <laughs> i won't be the straw man going to see going to see the wizards hey give me a brain here because i i lost mine back at the table over there Correct. now in this situation um what do you think in this game, what makes it uh, the game or what, what, what's, what makes Bobby different from the or the game, you know, the Pizza game different from the competitor games or the other games that are on the table right now? Well, absolutely. Uh, Mr. Bobby's games, uh, again, they were created, you know, at the time. Uh, Mr. Bobby McCormick, again, founder of Pizza. He has uh, developed in many years of creating a perfect board game and card games. His creations are unique, they're interesting, they're challenging, they're fun to play, and most importantly, they're educational. Mm. His creative mind wants to get into the school systems. He wants to enrich and enhance teachers as they try to find those critical skills that can enhance their children in their classrooms on how to, one, focus you know, because some children have attention deficit disorders. Mm-hmm. And with Pizot Puzzle, we noticed that children of all ages and adults, because children are, the not, are not the only ones with ADHD, the attention deficit disorder. Right. So what happens is that it can be creatively uh, used for children uh, that do have attention Dif- uh, deficit disorders so it help you focus because it makes them down. concentrate on that one particular thing absolutely and, and right, and you're not all over the out. place right exactly. i got you that, that makes a lot of sense because it definitely had me focusing and mm-hmm. uh as a kid I, I i was accused of being 80 days at time as well so I, and, and I, I still think I do. <laughs> don't have it. Don't have it. I don't I have it, it keeps me. I, mm-hmm. I, I have to channel my thoughts and everything, and, and to keep me because my brain is always on full swing mode. It's always thinking about something else. I'm like, I got to pull myself in, Mike. Come back, come back, and think about this one subject before you go on something else. Let's get this one thing done. So, if you think, if you you've spoken with him plenty of times. Um, and I'm sure you have long conversation with them, but if, if there was one thing um, about the his business or, or going into the car game industry that he think he would do a little differently, what do you think it would be? I believe Mr. McCormick wouldn't do too much differently. What I believe he's doing and is pushing to do, and that is to push his creative skills to a higher level to reach more people. He wants to reach the masses because he knows that his creative work is designed to help enhance education. And I can't say that anymore than he's just an advocate for education and helping children develop those skills that they need to be productive citizens. To make everybody a little smarter than they were yesterday. Absolutely. To be able to unscramble, to do cold word, to be able to break cold word, to be able to create and develop uh, those symbols. And he talked to young people about how he got started and how long it takes him to go from one card to the other. And 
you know, he can do it like off the top of his head. It's like someone that's a mathematic matician or working with statistics. Um, that's Mr. McCormick's area. Wow. And he's bringing it out through his games and he's going to eventually, and he's working on that development now because he's with the time and the trend of creative um, hand, handheld development, you know, the internet, the, the board games so it's going to, and i know he's going a little more to the social media and all that kind of stuff we're trying to get this you know introduction out there as well now if someone wanted, wanted to uh purchase one of these games how would they go about doing it okay to create uh to purchase a game with pizard you can go to www.p-zod.com or b mccormick b m c C O R M I C K at N C dot R R dot com and you can call nine one zero nine seven eight seven nine four zero from Mr. Bobby McCormick and again his designer Yaz Designs Y A Z D E S I G N Z at gmail dot com. Now, with the with the um, the Pizza One Hundred and One, you said it's out there right now. Are there any new games or project that he's working on right now in the horizon? Yes, absolutely. Pizza again, Pizza One Hundred and One Edition is available for purchase, and you can pick up a game or two, three or four. At Hobby Town. <laughs> one, two, three, or four, five, six. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. You know, it's a family game. Go ahead and buy the whole shelf. That's right. <laughs> Holidays are coming up. So think of Pizza Puzzle. You know what? That would be a perfect gift. Absolutely. To be, think about it, would be a perfect gift because it's not just something you give them and they play around with, but they gotta it, it, it challenges them and make people think a little bit better. So that you're right. That would be a perfect gift for uh, the 8 to the 95, as you said, that time frame. 8 to 95 years <laughs> old. And this year-round game, uh, just like the all the board games that are, you know, sold in retail stores today. Uh, Pizza Puzzle is one of those games. And it's, a, again, a year round game It's for an individual, you know, family settings. So please pick up again at Hobby Town on Ramsey Street in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And please look for the game to be distributed to uh, other major um, companies in the near future. Okay. Now, if someone wanted to get in contact with you to ask you a little bit more about uh, the, the game itself, how can they reach you? Yes, you can reach me two ways. By telephone, it will be area code 910-703-0606. Again, that's 910-703-0606. And email will be Denton Place Tables turned at gmail.com i was gonna say you had a little break in there on the phone numbers like what you forgot your number over there you, <laughs> you got your number over there <laughs> absolutely not i just want to make sure you got it and as well let me make sure we repeat this again so you're not dating so you're not giving your phone number out to all the guys so you kind of forget what your phone number absolutely. is right now <laughs> we don't know our numbers <laughs> all right was well, there anything else you want to say about um anything that, about the pizza that i haven't been having asked you at this point well, at this point, uh, just again, just remember uh, Mr. McCormick's mission, and that was to develop games that will be appealing to all genders, different ages, races, nationalities. Um, this product and exposure is for anyone that's looking for a challenge, looking to have fun, and come out and get Pizza 101. <laughs> get Pizza 101. Absolutely. Uh, all right. Well, thank you a lot for coming into the studio today and tell Mr. M Bobby McCormick, my buddy, my pal, that I still love his game. He gave me a, a, a version of it and I actually played with it uh, with some neighbors the, about two weeks ago and they loved it as well so uh, whatever he's doing tell him to keep going on and he has a good product going out there to the market Mr. Mike McCollum I will do just that and I will pass that on and thank you for having us come on and talk about what is pizza all right again this is mike mccullum on the mic with mike again we have miss thomasina pamel 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 okay i'm get calling right, you mike, i'm calling right. you pamel <laughs> now 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 i'm putting the m and the n and the m and the n okay so he got me doing all this pizza stuff and placing it back and forth <laughs> see it's a cha challenge in your mind already challenging at that time frame again stay around with us mike mccullum on the mic with mike on espn radio Hey, this is Mike, the Small Biz Doctor. If you would like to know how you could be interviewed on my show, please give me a call at 
910-863-1797. That's 910-863-1797. Because after all, it's time for you and your company to be heard. but you can call me Mo. I'm the CEO and founder of Mo's Heroes, a veteran and a mom, and I understand the struggles of transitioning out of the military. At Mo's Heroes, we provide referrals, resources, and customized care. Do you need clothes for an interview, some food to eat, a house, maybe a resume to get a new job? We can help you. Are you passionate about military causes? We've made a lot of progress uh, with the most heroes, but we still need more help. We need you. So if you want to help us, please email us at volunteers at most heroes or call us at 1 844 most heroes. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization exclusively for veterans and their families. So we thank you and please visit us at www.mostheroes.org. God bless you. Hi, this is Abby Ortiz. I'm the owner of A1 Supply, and you are listening to On the Mic with Mike, the small business doctor on ESPN Radio. Hello, business owners. Have you ever thought about how successful business owners like Oprah Winfrey, Steve Jobs, Michael Jordan, Warren Buffett, and more made it? What were some of the things they went through and still came out on top? Listen to my show every Tuesday from 6 to 7 p.m. and you will be able to hear directly from them. So have a pen, paper, and an open mind to grow your business. Mr. Bobby McCormick, CEO of Pizod Puzzle and Game Creations, will challenge your intellectual thought process while trying to unscramble, cross-connect letters, and break the code words from the level of Pizod Puzzle Edition 101. The puzzle is aimed at ages 8 to 90 plus. They are intended for the entire family and people of all ages. The games have been tested and have received favorable attributes. The critical thinking strategy welcomes the minds of all. Hey, this is Dana Spanky, social media director for SBO Radio, and you're listening to On the Mic with Mike, the small biz doctor on ESPN Radio. Did you know that over 60% of small businesses are subject to legal actions taken against owners and their companies? If you would like to protect your business by having direct access to one of the best law firms in North Carolina for only $39 per month, or entire family protection for only $19.95 per month, visit www.taplegalapp.com. That's www.taplegalapp.com to protect yourself and your business today. Small business owners, do you want to know if you, your management and staff are on the same page and saying the same things to your customers or clients? After 20 years of small business coaching, I created a program called Employee Same Page Analysis that has either left business owners shocked, embarrassed, angry, or happy with the results. However, just so you know, only five companies scored over 50%. Give me a call today at 910-863-1797 to schedule your analysis because incorrect information can be destroying your business. This is Mayor Chris Ray, Executive Director of Cumberland Health Net, and you're listening to On the Mic with Mike, the small biz doctor on ESPN Radio. Hey, this is Mike, the small biz doctor. If you would like to know how you could be interviewed on my show, please give me a call at 910-863-1797. That's 910-863-1797. Because after all, it's time for you and your company to be heard. Eight Daily Habits That Will Raise Your Game 
Finding success in achieving your goals may prove to be the biggest challenge that you encounter in mundane daily life. Small changes to your daily routine can translate into monumental success in all of your endeavors. Here are eight things that you should be doing if you aren't already. One, get up early. Getting up early is more than just getting up on time. When you get up early, you're giving yourself some extra time that will allow you to get even more done. Two, read. You should be reading every single day. When you read, you help stimulate your thought processes and may be surprised by the ideas that you come up with. Three, exercise. Even if it's just for 30 minutes, it is important to start exercising daily. Exercise can help release endorphins that naturally boost your mood and energy levels. Four, practice gratitude. This can be a hard one for some people, and it's something that unfortunately many of us need to consciously practice. As this practice becomes more natural, you may be surprised by how many doors open and how many new relationships you can form by showing sincere gratitude to those around you. 5. Schedule your day before it starts. Having a set schedule is a powerful tool when it comes to making the most of your day. By making your schedule the day before, you will know just what is ahead the moment you wake up. 6. Focus on high priority tasks first. Many people actually often put their high priority tasks on the back burner and end up saving them till the last minute. Challenge yourself by starting with focusing on your high priority task. After being in the mindset of tackling a high priority project, your less demanding tasks will be easier to complete. 7. Always go the extra mile. Do a few extra, meaningful tasks every day that go beyond what your actual requirements are. By putting in a little more effort than required, you can get more done during the workday and feel a new energizing sense of motivation and satisfaction. 8. Improve in one area each day, whether personal or professional. Make it a goal to improve in one area of your life every day. Regardless of what it is, take the time to really try to improve one small thing. Before you know it, you'll be surprised by the impact that the changes have made in your life. Are you thinking about new floors for your home? Then you need an experienced professional to guide you through all the exciting new choices in flooring today. And you can find that at the Wholesale Flooring Company in North Myrtle Beach. For over 30 years, owner Tom Guido and his team have been offering their customers the highest level of professionalism, integrity, and product knowledge. And they're excited to do the same for you. So trust your home to the professionals at the Wholesale Flooring Company in North Myrtle Beach because experience matters. This is Anne-Marie Ziegler, founder and CEO of Array Magazine. You are listening to On the Mic with Mike on ESPN Radio. Hey, this is Mike, the small biz doctor. If you would like to know how you could be interviewed on my show, please give me a call at 910-863-1797. That's 910-863-1797. 1797 because after all it's time for you and your company to be heard Hey, small business owners, it's time for the Small Biz Doctor Study and Learn portion of my show. As I said before, my hope and goal is to force you to become a better business owner than you were yesterday by providing business information, tips, and resources so that we all can learn. So without further ado... The three decisions that will change your financial life. There's nothing worse than a rich person who's chronically angry or unhappy. There's really no excuse for it, yet we see this phenomenon every day. It results from an unbalanced life with too much expectation and not enough appreciation for what's there. Without gratitude and appreciation for what you already have, you'll never know true fulfillment. But how do you cultivate balance in life? Virtually every moment, people make three key decisions that dictate the quality of their lives. If you make these decisions unconsciously, you'll end up like the majority of people who tend to be out of shape physically, exhausted emotionally, and often financially stressed. 
But if you make these decisions consciously, you can literally change the course of your life today. Decision one, carefully choose what you focus on. At every moment, millions of things compete for your attention. You can focus on things that are happening right here and now, what you want to create in the future, or on the past. What you focus on and your pattern for doing so shapes your entire life. If you examine your habitual thoughts, what do you tend to spend most of your time dwelling on? Rather than focusing on what you don't have and begrudging those who are better off than you, acknowledge that you have much to be grateful for. Be grateful for your health, family, friends, opportunities, and mind. Developing a habit of appreciating what you have can create a new level of emotional well-being and wealth. Do you take time to deeply feel grateful with your mind, body, heart, and soul? That's where the joy, happiness, and fulfillment are found. Secondly, do you tend to focus more on what you can control or what you can't? If you focus on what you can't control, you'll have more stress in life. Decision 2. Figure out what does this all mean? Ultimately, how you feel about your life has nothing to do with the events in it. The quality of your life is controlled by the meaning you give these things. You may be unaware of the effects of your unconscious mind assigning meaning to life's events. When something happens that disrupts your life, do you tend to think that this is the end or the beginning? If someone confronts you, is that person insulting you, coaching you, or truly caring for you? Your life takes on whatever meaning you give it. When people shift their habitual focus and meanings, there's no limit on what life can become. A change of focus and a shift in meaning can literally alter someone's biochemistry in minutes. So, take control and always remember, meaning equals emotion and emotion equals life. Find an empowering meaning in any event and wealth in its deepest sense will be yours today. Decision 3. What will you do? The actions you take are powerfully shaped by the emotional state you're in. If you're angry, you're going to behave quite differently than if you're feeling playful or outrageous. If you want to shape your actions, change what you focus on and shift the meaning to be something more empowering. People tend to model their behavior from those they respect, enjoy, and love. You may find yourself falling back into patterns you witnessed over and over again in your youth and were displeased by. It's very useful for you to become aware of your patterns when you're frustrated, angry, sad, or feeling lonely. You can't change your patterns if you're not aware of them. Now that you're aware of the power of these three decisions, start looking at the role models who are experiencing what you want out of life. It's not rocket science. If you become aware of the differences in how people approach these three decisions, you'll have a pathway to help you create a permanent positive change in any area of life. This is Stuart Walters, a business counselor with Seed, and you are listening to On the Mic with Mike, the small business doctor on ESPN Radio. Hi, this is Abby Ortiz. I'm the owner of A1 Supply, and you are listening to On the Mic with Mike, the small business doctor on ESPN Radio. I'm Shadonna McFall, but you can call me Mo. I'm the CEO and founder of Mo's Heroes, a veteran and a mom, and I understand the struggles of transitioning out of the military. At Mo's Heroes, we provide referrals, resources, and customized care. Do you need clothes for an interview, some food to eat, a house, maybe a resume to get a new job? We can help you. Are you passionate about military causes? We've made a lot of progress uh, with the most heroes, but we still need more help. We need you. So if you want to help us, please email us at volunteers at most heroes or call us at 1 844 most heroes. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization exclusively for our veterans and their families. So we thank you and please visit us at www.mostheroes.org. God bless you.
Mr. Bobby McCormick, CEO of Pizod Puzzle and Game Creations, would challenge your intellectual thought process while trying to unscramble, cross-connect letters, and break the code words from the level of Pizod Puzzle Edition 101. The puzzle is aimed at ages 8 to 90 plus. They are intended for the entire family and people of all ages. The games have been tested and have received favorable attributes. The critical thinking strategy welcomes the minds of all. Hello, business owners. Have you ever thought about how successful business owners like Oprah Winfrey, Steve Jobs, Michael Jordan, Warren Buffett, and more made it? What were some of the things they went through and still came out on top? Listen to my show every Tuesday from 6 to 7 p.m. and you will be able to hear directly from them. So have a pen, paper, and an open mind to grow your business. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hey Aluxers, we know how many of you would like to work from home or are currently looking for a job, so why not take full advantage of the age we live in and work from home? In this Alux.com original video, we're going to go through a few options, and who knows, maybe one of them will spark an idea. Let's get started. Number 10, Tax Preparer. Median salary, $31,000. You all know tax season, so you must imagine that being a tax preparer is a seasonal job. From January until the end of April. That can easily be done from your home. Tax preparers are asked to work weekends or maybe even evenings and weekdays, but you can choose the time that works best for you and for your schedule. Number 9. Graphic Designer. Median salary, $42,000. If you have a good eye on what's appealing to a customer, what would look good together and you can draw, then why don't you become a graphic designer? You can work in a domain that you want, like marketing, technology, commercial industries, and others, right from your home. Of course, you might have to meet clients, but you can do pretty much everything from home, such as decide on the designs, guidelines, conduct the research you need, draw, improve the design, etc. Number 8. Public Relations Specialist. Median salary, $51,000. A PR's job is to generate positive publicity for their clients and make their public reputation as good as it gets. An important part of a public relations specialist is knowing how to use social media such as Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and other platforms because they are working close to bloggers, journalists, and media. The things that you can do from home if you are a PR are preparing your materials such as story pitches, press releases, or online interviews. Number 7. Writers and Author. Median salary $55,000. Bloggers, authors, journalists, they are all writers in different ways and if you decide to take this path, you can work from home for sure. There's no need to explain why novel authors can totally work from home. It's kind of self-explanatory, right? You can write whenever you feel inspired to because it's your story and you can publish it anytime you want. That is if your publisher doesn't pressure you. If you are not an author and you go for the media side of writing, you might have to go to an office from time to time, but the things you can do from home are countless, including research, preparing your stories, having all the materials ready, or promote your writing on social media. All you need is a laptop and you're good. Number 6. Post-Secondary Teacher. Median Salary, $59,000. Since the online world is expanding and evolving as we speak, it's only normal for teachers to get involved in this environment too. Post-secondary teachers are those lucky ones who can stay at home, drink their coffee, and tutor students through the internet. They can communicate with people all over the world and give them advice using video conference, phone call, or email, making it easier and more convenient for both themselves and the student. Number 5. Market and Survey Researcher. Median Salary $61,000. In order to be successful, companies are constantly trying to figure out which products sell the best or appeal most to the public. And that's when a market and survey researcher comes in. The job requires you to analyze and study market conditions for the companies in order to improve the effectiveness of their marketing and business strategies. Number 4. Registered Nurse. Median Salary $62,000. 
I know what you're thinking. How can someone be a nurse and take care of people from home? Well, it's possible. Nurses don't necessarily need to work long hours in a hospital. They can also work in a medical call center doing telephone triage or help coordinate care plans and providing care assessment. Also, if you're a registered nurse, working from home, you can recruit new employees to fill open positions. Number three, computer software engineer. Median salary, $85,000. Commonly trained in different technologies, computer software engineers are really well paid even if they work from home. They usually report their work back to a team or a management structure. If you decide to follow this job, you will create packaged software and customize applications. Some of the certification programs to become a computer software engineer include Cisco and Microsoft training. But don't imagine it's all fun and a lot of money. Statistics say that 17% of computer software engineers work more than 50 hours a week, even if they are home-based. So think twice about choosing this job. Number two, financial manager. Median salary, $99,000. Even though it might not seem possible, in some cases, financial managers can do part of their work from home. Their main responsibilities are to oversee the finances of companies or agencies and provide financial reports. If you want to pursue this job, you need to know that in order to complete all of the financial analysis, you must be time efficient, even if you decide to do all the work from home. Financial managers usually have a degree in finance, economics, business administration, or accounting. Number one, physician and radiologist, median salary, $186,000. Again, probably as surprising as nursing, being either a physician or a radiologist, working from home is possible. Working from home will require file reviews, such as completing peer reviews, writing reports, or authorizations. Of course you can't do just that, so working in a clinic is the first step to take. Then after you develop yourself a portfolio, you might bring in some revenue from reviewing patients' files. There are of course plenty of other jobs that you can do from home these days, from creating music, licensing artwork, or delivering web services, but these 10 have a strong background within the industry. Are you currently working from home? If not, do you think it's more fun working in an office than working from home? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for spending some time with us, Alexers. Hey, this is Mike, the Small Biz Doctor. If you would like to know how you could be interviewed on my show, please give me a call at 910-863-1797. That's 910-863-1797. Because after all, it's time for you and your company to be heard. Hey everyone, it looks like we have come to the end of our show today, but remember that my goal is to force you to become a better business owner than you were yesterday. If you would like to be interviewed or possibly air your commercials during my show, please contact me at 910-863-1797. That's 863-1797. I want to leave this with you. You have something special. The world is waiting. There are customers that are waiting for your services, for your product, for your ideas, for your skills, for your expertise. It's time for you to show up. Absolutely. Stand up for your dream. Stand up for your business. Make it happen. This is Mrs. Mamie Brown's baby boy. You've got greatness within you. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it.